Hey everybody! Welcome to my channel, Jewelry Pirate. This is Barbara. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And um, hit that notification bell in case you'd like to be informed when I upload a new video. Um, I'm going to go through a bag here. And uh, I want to let you know that um, I'm having a little bit of issues with the computer. Like I said, um, I'm having a hard time with some of the uh, videos loading, especially if they're longer. So I'm um, bringing this computer in to have them look at it. Hopefully I'll have it back in the same day. But just in case I disappear for a day or two and you don't hear from me, um, you know why. Don't go nowhere, okay, because uh, my computer guys are really good and uh, it shouldn't, the out time shouldn't last long. Um, I'm hoping that'll be nothing, but um, we'll find out, okay. I, I live on a dead end street and they could have went out and screwed with the wires, who knows. But anyway, enough of that, enough of my blabbing. Um, I have a bag. I want to upload this or, you know, shoot this for you so I can upload it. And uh, let's get started, see what we have in here. And uh, hopefully we will have some interesting items in the bag. Okay, let's grab something. All right, looks like we have some paparazzi jewelry here. All right, this is... Um, this fell down. This needs to be uh, redone or something here. But there's a paparazzi set. And it's a great big pink silver tone necklace. Great big pink um, beads. And uh, I will try to turn around and see what I can do with that. Um, if nothing can be done with it. It's going to be sold just with, you know, at the price of the, the, the necklace. Okay, let's see here. Uh, we have this. All right, we have a watch. It's a Geneva bracelet watch. And, um, of course, it's not running, but it's pretty. And let me, show, let me put my light on. Hang on. All right, this is it, and it has, condition is excellent, it just needs a wipe down and a sanitizer, uh, very pretty, I like that with the pink on the sides. Okay, now we have a piece by... Again, Marisol. This is kind of interesting. It's made with power cord. And uh, it's acrylic. This is the power cord. Um, gold findings. And here's the earrings. That's pretty interesting. There you go. Okay. We got another paparazzi set, and um, this is nice. This is not a bad set. This is red, has a pair of earrings. It's got a double chain, so it hangs down with... Um, this inside with all the red beads and you guys know that I sell paparazzi really cheap and this also has earrings so if you're a fan of paparazzi you know that you can get a bargain here with the jewelry pirate all right now we have a little mini statement necklace 
and uh, this is cute. Uh, gold tone. Uh, it's at the end of its extender, so it's about a two-inch extender with a bead. Um, these are all little discs, of course, with the colors. This is this would work pretty good for fall or spring. Um, it's not real bright spring colors, but it's very pretty. Has a little weight to it. Give you a quick close up. There you go. Very pretty little necklace. Now we have another watch. And this is another, uh, let me see. This is, uh, right now it's little. Give me a second here. Okay, this is a Strata watch, and it's a bracelet, has a fold-over clasp, it's brand new, it still has the uh, piece in it that nobody pulled out, and I will definitely check that out to make sure that that goes. Okay, that's a pretty watch. Now we have, let's see here. This I'm going to have to look at a little bit more closely. I'm pretty sure that this is all sterling silver. I'm going to have to check um, the markings. I see 925 on it. Um, it's very pretty, pretty, pretty necklace. And the tag for the 925 is lost in that space up here. Let me see if I can open this up so you can see it. And the pendant's also marked too. Um, right there. The pendant appears to be... I'm not sure. It's. I think it's a banded agate. Very, very light orange. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty necklace. Okay. Let's put that down here. And it comes in a bag that says it was made in Thai, th Thailand, excuse me. Uh, now we have, um, this is cute. This is a nice articulated necklace. Um, this is by, uh, let me see if I can, I hate my old eyes. This is by Rachel. And it's a two-strander. This is very pretty. All of these are all um, individual, so it's very articulated. Um, it's got a nice pendant. Um, the beads, I'm pretty sure, are all glass. They're ice cold. And it does have an extender, okay, which is this. There's the hang tag, which says Rachel. This is really pretty. Very, very nice necklace. Excellent condition. Okay. Let me take some more out of the bag. All right. Here we have a very long seed bead necklace in browns, tans. Um, this is gorgeous. It has a lobster claw clasp. And there's your hooking up thing. Let me see if I can put it on Buster so you can see how beautiful it lays. Okay. I wrapped it around the head on Buster. And this way you can see... Um, the condition it's new there's nothing wrong with this at all it has the bell closures that hold all the beads in but there's how long it is gorgeous gorgeous necklace all right I think we hit the jackpot here on these silver so sterling silver necklaces 
Let's see. Um, this one here, I'm going to put this over to the side so I can get this out when uh, need be. I'll, I'll have to stop the video. Here we have um, a necklace. It's made with uh, the seeds and it has these beautiful curved wood pieces on it and no clasp, it's over the neck. This is very interesting. Very tribal, very boho and it's lightweight so it'll be comfortable to wear. Okay, let's go back into the bag. Here is an older um, necklace. This is got a hang tag on it. This is Sarah Cove. This is really pretty. The beads are acrylic, but they have a break in the color on them. There's your Sarah Cub tag, spring ring clasp. This is a pretty necklace and it's kind of like a burnt cranberry collar. Um, I just like the texturing of the, of the you know, the, the, the color inside the beads and each of the beads are not, um, let's see, um, knotted in between but they're spaced in between which gives it a nice look, which also enables this to be very um, pliable and flexible. See all the different um, coloring in the beads? Very nice Sarah Cub. All right. Let's dump everything out, see what we got in here. All right. Here we have, uh, this is glass. There might be a couple of wooden beads on here. This is gold tone. These are triangular shaped wooden beads. And um, lobster claw class. No extender. Just a simple little necklace. Pretty. There you go. All right, this is a real old-fashioned um, acrylic necklace. This is interesting. Uh, it's amber color, amber color, not amber. And there you go, this is how it is. Um, it's very pretty, it, even though it's acrylic. It shows a, a lot of sparkle, and once I clean it, it's going to show a lot more sparkle. Very pretty. So you give you a little close-up. There's a lot of flash that comes off of these. It's amazing how sometimes your acrylic beads can do this. You know, and they're always a joy to wear because they don't dig into your neck, and you know, it's interesting. All right, we have three watches. Let's see here. This one here is probably going to go to the thrift. Let me see what the, it's got a cracked crystal. This is an old, old Sergio Valente. Um, it's a shame because the band on this is absolutely great, but it's Mark Sergio Valente, so I can't take and, and um, uh, switch it over to another watch. It's a shame. There we go. Look yeah, how nice this band is. So, say Sergio Valente. So, probably go to the church thrift. Okay. Put that over here. Then we have another watch. And I don't know if this one's ticking. It's hard for me to tell. Um... This is um, leopard print on a silicone band. Um, it needs a little cleaning. 
I can't tell if it's ticking. It's in the shape of a heart. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. Let me move this light a little bit. No matter how I put it, it's going to be bad. All right, put it over here. All right, looks like all the crystals are there. This one here is in there. All right, there's the back of it. Okay, there's that. This is a pretty watch. Um, I can't tell the name on this. New York and Company. And uh, it's pretty. It's got a nice band. There you go. There's your band. It's kind of like a patent leather. And um, I don't know what I would call that. But it's pretty. It's uh, a nice pleasing watch. All right. Let's see here what this is. All right. This is a fashion jewelry piece. This is very pretty. And uh, I have to look at this close to see if there's anything missing on it because it's totally encrusted in rhinestones. It's new on the card. We're almost done. I just have to I have a couple more pieces and then um, we're going to uh, get that one piece. This is a really nice seed bead piece that I have here. Let me see if I can get this to go on Buster. Okay. There we go. It's gold tone. Um, it's got an amber colored uh, st uh, stone inside, rhinestone. Uh, it's just a piece of fashion jewelry. Let me show you a close-up. It's got a nice chain. It's new. I will check it all out. Okay. And we have... This is all bugle beads. Simple little necklace. Lightweight. Colors are that nice blue. There's some brown, some gold, and some amber colors. These are just all bugle beads. Very, very pretty. Okay, give you a quick close-up of this. There you go. It's got an extender. Very pretty. Then we have a 1928 um, brooch. This was a surprise. I didn't even see this see this laying there. Very, very pretty. Genuine porcelain. Wow, very, very pretty. Okay. And then there's this, which is very pretty. And I'm not going to take it apart. We're getting near 20 minutes. Um, uh, maybe I'm going to have to. This is all on the wire. It has a pair of earrings to match. Very, very long shepherd hook earrings. Um, let me see here. Let's do this. Let me lift that up there so you can see. Um, and these are, these are all in a cup. There is a little kinking on it. Still pretty. Okay, that's that. All right, now give me a second here. Okay, I finally got this all undone. This is a really super long necklace. All in autumn fall colors. It actually looks like my trees outside, except there's not no bright bright oranges. It's a very long necklace. This is your joining point right here of all the seed beads. 
Uh, it's very, very long. I would say that um, oh good god that's 12 and 6 I would say 18 maybe total of 36 inches All right, it's beautiful so if you're interested in a very gorgeous um, seed bead necklace look at the colors in this I think they, the beads on the, the seed beads are glass, but I think the other beads are acrylic. There might be a couple of glass ones mixed in. Very, very, very pretty necklace. Okay, that's it. And uh, like I said, don't forget in case I don't answer your comments, email me. All right, because I can probably get some of my email hopefully on my phone but I'm hoping that um, it's going to be a simple look over and, and uh, um, check out at the computer store and uh, and you won't even notice the difference so uh, okay please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell in case you would like to be informed when I upload a new video um, I want you all to remain safe and don't forget to wear your mask, use your hand sanitizer, definitely social distance, watch out for those people that creep up behind you and um, wash your hands a lot. So everybody have a great day. I will be in touch with you soon. Take care all. Jewelry Pirate out.